you've decided to go cobia fishing. Excellent decision. These fish are an excellent target for a variety of reasons. For starters, they're relatively easy to catch, making them a good target for both novice and experienced anglers. Second, they're delicious, and there are plenty of them. As a result, cobia is a delicious, healthy, and sustainable food option. Cobia are also easy to spot, though they can be mistaken for small sharks at first glance. Aside from having horizontal pectoral fins in similar colors, the two are unrelated. Cobia are one of the few fish that have no close relatives. They swim alone, but they can be found in tropical and subtropical waters all over the world. Cobia feed on a diet of blue crabs, stingrays, and bait fish such as pinfish and eel. This protein-rich diet contributes significantly to cobia's rapid growth. In some cases, these fish can grow to be over 40 inches long in just two years. Their diet also reveals a lot about where they can be found. Cobia are opportunistic eaters, so you'll often see them near structures that hold a lot of bait fish. These could be buoys, navigational markers, or reefs and wrecks both nearshore and offshore. Any large structure where bait fish congregate is a good place to cast a line. Now that you've determined where to look for your prize catch, it's time to set the hook. We'll go over the various techniques you can use, the equipment you'll need, and how to close the deal once you've gotten a bite. Spinning and casting. One of the reasons cobia fishing is so accessible is that no complicated equipment is required. Traditional spinning tackle is arguably the most effective method of catching fish. If you're just getting started, a 7 feet medium weight spinning rod is a good place to start. After a few outings, you can progress to a heavier rod and explore deeper waters. Casting for cobia is also an excellent way to put your light tackle skills to the test, especially during migration periods. At this time, the fish swim very close to the surface, and sight casting becomes the name of the game. The next thing you'll need to think about is bait and lures. Cobia, as previously stated, feed on blue crabs and bait fish such as eel. As a result, you'll have the most success using this as live bait. Choose bucktail jigs in contrasting colors, dining plugs in natural bait fish colors, or Texas rig plastic eels and worms if you prefer artificial lures. Fly fishing. If you want a more difficult challenge, try fly fishing for cobia. This method will only work when the cobia are close to the surface and inshore. This usually occurs in the spring, around the time the fish spawn. Cobia are surprisingly tough and tenacious. Your fish will almost certainly try to escape as soon as it is hooked. Allow the fish to tire out by loosening the drag and continuing the fight. Once the fish has tired out, it will be much easier to get it onto the boat, but it does not stop there. Once you've boated your cobia, it will continue to move and kick ferociously until it's exhausted its energy reserves. Allow space and take precautions to avoid destroying any of your equipment. If you intend to keep the fish, gaff it as soon as possible and place it in the catch box. Always be sure to check your local wildlife and fisheries for rules and regulations pertaining to when cobia are in season as well as size and bag limit restrictions. Cobias are a firm favorite among anglers due to their delicious flavor, accessibility, and hard fighting spirit. Thanks for watching. For more content like this, 
Like, share, and subscribe.